What is up guys, Technicals here, coming at you with something a little bit different today. Today we're going to be putting together this thing back here. It's a single or perhaps even double uh, immersion cooling tank that I'm calling the Lil Darling. Uh, this is something I had sketched out. I have been looking into immersion cooling for the FPGA, which is widely regarded as the best method, uh, the most effective method, to cool FPGAs. That's where you immerse the entire card in some sort of coolant run the coolant through a radiator and then reintroduce it back into the pool uh, instead of just running it through a cooling loop that's touching the uh, GP or the FPGA's chips, VRMs, so on and so forth. So uh, in looking at some of the options available for immersion cooling setups, nothing really exists. You, you kind of got to make it yourself. So I thought, well, let's put something together, make it cute, call it the little darling because I just want to call something the little darling. So spoiler alert, this does not work. It was never meant to work. It's just a prototype to give me a sort of general idea as to how I might set something like that up and to maybe inspire you to go out and create your own. I'm the technicals. Let's get into it. Before that, this video brought to you by the Dynastech Easy V3 Test Bench. Simple, spacious, well built. I'm a fan of this test bench and I think you should check it out. Link is in the description below. Alright, so for our vessel we're going to be using this Tetra 2.5 gallon fish aquarium I picked up at a local PetSmart pet supply store. Only $15. You could probably get a better deal. You can't really get good deals on fish tanks online because of the shipping cost. It's costs a lot to ship them so check your local stores for a good deal all right and so for the gpu i'm going to be using this 1060 6 gigabyte uh it's a another busted gpu i was doing my uh, water loop cooling experiments i think i just allowed to get it uh at a temperature when you hook it up it only hashes at like two mega hash per second so my thinking is, is that i've killed part of the part of the core uh anyway i'm going to leave this gpu block this water block on there works really good cheap block on Amazon. Link in the description below if you want to try this. These work good. They don't do much to cool the VRMs or any of the other components of the board or the RAM, um, but it works good for the GPU itself. So we're going to be using this. Again, it's mostly for looks. All right, so we got our riser hooked up on this uh, this piece of plastic, this little uh, riser on a riser to go inside the aquarium. That's to hold it in place so this thing doesn't flop over. So we're gonna go ahead and pop that. Sink our little guy in there. We cut out a slot for the uh, the fins or whatever you call it. What do you call this? Link, comment below. What do you call those things? So now it's in there. It's not going anywhere. Let's pop that in. Boom. Nice. So you can see everything going on and we can directionalize the flow. Now, if you're doing this for an FPGA, you're probably gonna wanna measure it out a little better because the FPGA is longer. Uh, BCUs are a little shorter because they don't have the fan on the back. But you can see, you're gonna, you're gonna be at a, at a limit for um, the total length of the card that you can accommodate. But if you pop the shroud off the BCU, you'll have plenty of room to uh, get your, your liquid flowing through. 1060 is a lot shorter, so measure twice, cut, once i'm going to be using this gigabyte h110m a uh this is a this is fried i uh i fried two of these motherboards i believe because it takes only a four pin for the cpu and i think i put in the wrong side of the cpu i'm not sure is that even possible to burn out the motherboard with that because i looked and the pins have a little bit of a different shape anyway it gets stuck in an infinite uh, reboot loop and i suspect that's the reason because i have an identical board like this uh, that also has the same exact problem, uh, no matter what I do. It's clear the CMOS, everything just doesn't work. Um, so anyway, because it's a prototype and I'm really only putting this in for looks, uh, I'm gonna be using this thing because, I mean, it's it's broken. It doesn't matter what I do to it, it's, it's busted. So we're gonna be using this and the small profile should make it look good, nice and tight on our, our little darling. And to hold it on there, I'm going to be using this. I got this out of one of the uh, the Rosewell server cases. These come inside to hold your motherboard in place. And I took a few of them out because uh, I just floated the motherboard. I didn't actually use it. I should have kept it in there. But anyway, it's all busted too. So I'm going to mount this to the side of the, uh, the aquarium to hold the motherboard in place. I 
so we got our fine welding job in place for our little hanging bracket. All right, so let's mount this thing on there. Hang that on there. Oh my God, look how perfect. You couldn't ask for a better fit. Look at that welding job, amazing. All right, so for radiator, this is like an experiment radiator I got. If you're actually gonna do this, uh, immersion cooling needs a m much more surface area than a single two uh, or 120 rad. You're probably gonna need to actually not even look at PC cooling rads. You're probably gonna wanna look at ones that are like beefed up for not not cars, but uh, you can probably get a cheap one for a car. I've seen radiators that are like fifty dollars. Yeah, look at this. It's like fifty bucks for a car radiator. Uh, but you may want to look at ones that are that are of custom spec because you know you're gonna have to cool this off, and if you don't, you're gonna get heat soaked, and it's gonna run away on you. So this is just for looks. Look at how everything's fitting perfectly. The pump's a little bit janky. Uh, kind of a janky bracket. Understatement, right? So let's hang that right there. So we got our pump assembly. <laughs> what am I doing? I'm gonna hang this here. It's pretty good. All right. So let's. That will be our intake, and this will be our return. Should flip this around. Boom. All right. about this all right so let's take a let's run through this it sucks it up through this hose takes it into the pump pump then sends it to the rad cools it and then the rad sends it back through the hard line and jettisons it out directly onto the immersed chip other side we've got our motherboard i don't know where the hell i'm going to put a power supply Oh, cables, I forgot. Cables are gonna make it so ugly though. F cables. Yeah, so again, this wasn't uh, actually designed to work on the first go, although the size of this aquarium is perfect for like a single card. Uh, and it would also uh, limit the amount of coolant that you actually have to purchase because if you're using 3M Novec or one of these other engineered fluids that are made for immersion cooling, they can get really expensive, hundreds of dollars per liter or gallon uh, not just mineral oil. If you're, if you've got a $4,000 FPGA, uh, I don't know that you want to use mineral oil with it. You probably want to use a, uh, a purpose built or purpose engineered fluid for it. And so this little, uh, small aquarium should work great for it. But you know, I like to tinker around here, try things. The idea kind of popped into my head and I figured I'd just use parts that I had laying around. You can also source, check this out. These are, uh, I don't know what the actual name of these things are. They're used to, uh, directionalize, uh, machine oil and things like that. Uh, you know, shoot the fluid out and you can point them where you need it to go. You can also use some of this rigid hardline uh, PET G tubing uh, to accomplish the same thing. Again, you want to check out uh, all parts that are, you know, <laughs> a little bit better than what I have built here. But this is just to give you an idea as to, uh, I guess, how easy it would be to throw something like this together. I think it's cute. I'm going to keep it around. I kind of just like the way it looks. So I'd love to know what you guys think about it in the comments below. If you have a uh, maybe a way that I can make this better or actually get it to work. Uh, because it would have to be a damn sight better before I'm going to be willing to put an FPGA in this. Unless one of you want to kindly donate an FPGA to me, I'm glad to throw it in here. Uh, so let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below. I'm also giving away a free t-shirt from shop.thetechnicals.io. See links in the description below for details over to the Gleam. You just have to subscribe to the channel uh, in order to enter. I'm going to be giving away one of those this time next week. So check out our latest shirt, Who Is? I'm a big fan of Monero. You can grab this shirt off shop.thetechnicals.io via the link in the description below. 
Also, I'd love to see you in our Discord. Go to discord.thetechnicals.io, type that into your browser, takes you straight into our Discord. I'm The Technicals. See you next time.